Hey, Fight Fans, it's Ted Check. UFC on Fox 10 took place this past weekend. It was held in Chicago, Illinois. That is CM Punk, pro wrestler CM Punk's hometown. And apparently, Ariel Helwani does an interview with him, or has done an interview with him every year uh, for the past couple of years. So there's Ariel Helwani in CM Punk's uh, kitchen and his living room and what have you, and they're talking about various things, one of which is whether CM Punk will fight in MMA. And you know what? That's not such a far out question. Far out, man. Um, it's really not because uh, CM Punk is a student of the Gracies in Chicago. Um, I don't know if you've seen any of these pictures, and I'll, I'll probably upload one with this video, but uh, he's in the Gi, he's with Hainer Gracie. Um, he says he's, uh, he's, a, uh, he's a lifetime white belt. So chances are he's a ringer. Chances are he, he is a higher belt than that. Uh, you know, skill level wise, he just, you know, he just doesn't want to get promoted. He's not into the whole promotion thing. We, we've seen that before from some guys. Um, and, I, you know, I remember I was watching a bit of wrestling back when, when CM Punk was, uh, when he first got into the WWE or WWF back then or whatever, ECW. And, and he talked about, uh, in a promo, he talked about, and of course you can say anything in a promo, it doesn't necessarily have to be true, but he talked about being uh, you know, training in jiu-jitsu, training in Muay Thai, and then he worked that stuff into his matches, the knees from the clinch, um, and, you know, he's got a submission, um, how he, how he likes to finish matches, uh, he, he's got a submission hold that he uses, um, you know, and, and, uh, um, you know, a bunch of other things, he's, he's worked into his repertoire, um, some MMA, so I, you know, I, I, I like that, and he was there, rings, or cage side, at UFC on Fox 10, so, what he said was, hey, he's 35 years old, you know, he's not getting any younger, his contract is coming up, he doesn't know if he's going to re-sign with the WWE, um, and, you know, he would be a big draw, and he knows that he's smart, he, he would be a big draw in the UFC, kind of similar to Brock Lesnar. Um, does he, but he's, unlike Brock Lesnar, he's never fought in MMA before. Brock Lesnar had a couple of fights before he got into the UFC, not too many, but a, but a couple. Um... So it would be kind of dicey to put CM Punk in the UFC. Um, how do you use him? Do you put him on the Ultimate Fighter? Um, do you? Do you? Th I mean, will people have a problem? Will they balk if he's on the main card and he's zero zero? He doesn't have any wins. He doesn't have any losses. Is that is that legit? Is that something that the major league of MMA should be doing? Um, it's a good question. Uh, I don't know. Maybe tough is the way for him to go. That way he can get some fights. Under his belt, um, you know he can go go through the uh, the tough system, if you will, and he can get some he can get some fights under his belt first um, before he gets on to an event, a big event, you know, whether it be a Fox event or or a pay per view. I don't know. I, I think I think maybe that's the way, and and you know, and and would probably. Um, I mean, we saw a resurgence in popularity for the Ultimate Fighter with uh, with Ronda Rousey and Misha Tate. This would kind of continue that. I, I'm probably the rating. I would guess the right ratings will be good for. Uh, Vanderlei Silva and Chael Sonnen because they can't stand each other. But this would be another way to, to pump up the ratings for, for Tough. Um, let me know your thoughts on all this. Do you want to see CM Punk in, uh, in the Octagon? Leave your comments down below. Subscribe down below. That's it. Take care. See you next time.